reality because of her refusal to compromise and mostly because of her sound. Her hope is that all the hoopla surrounding her personal life is drowned out by her voice. Her name, Katie Lang. When Katie Lang took the stage to sing Roy Orbison's classic crying at Radio City Music Hall in New York, she'd come a long way from the prairies of Western Canada, where she was born Catherine Dawn. She had appeared on the country music scene five years before, but the establishment in Nashville didn't know what to make of this eccentric Canadian. She flat out rejected the lavish hairdos and sequin gowns that seemed a requirement for country stardom. She made no bones about her preference for women. They labeled her country punk. A writer once commented, if Elvis and Barbara Streisand had a child, it would be Katie Lang. to like this and my whole life you know changes. what you're going to be a sinner for the rest of your life oh, if you like pool sorry. we met recently in new york for a lesson in pool when and a chance to get to, to know each other okay so i got to remember what you taught me kd politely didn't let on i wasn't okay, supposed ready? to sink the cue ball but what do i know about pool anyway what did i do she sunk one <laughs> so the game the game's over you Is that hard to do what I did? Incredibly Will difficult. They ever then we sat and talked about the early days of her career. Nashville didn't really accept you. Uh -huh. I really loved country music, and I really had a vision. I really had an idea of how I wanted to perform country, and I just went ahead and did it. I mean, a lot of people said, You're ne it's never going to work. You don't fit in the picture. Yeah, but the thing is, is that I loved the music. <laughs> This year, whatever they thought of KD in Nashville didn't matter. She had moved from country into popular music. KD won her third Grammy Award for this hit single, Constant Craving, from her album called Ingenue. It made KD an international star. This past year, you came out publicly and, and said that you're a lesbian. Mm -hmm. Were you worried at all about what it might do to your career? Sure, yeah. but I had made the choice that my personal liberty and my, you know, the emancipation that I felt and I have felt about coming out was definitely more important to me than my career at that point. KD also struck this somewhat shocking pose with supermodel Cindy Crawford on the cover of Vanity Fair. When you sing, if you sing a love song, are you singing to a woman, to a man, to your audience? Probably more often than not, I'm singing to a lover. Sing a woman what are your hopes and dreams sing forever sing until i'm 98. so i asked her to sing something for us i'm crazy for feeling so lonely her remarkable voice set a mood even in the pool hall and K.D. Lang created a special moment. <laughs> Don't stop. You love me as long as you want it. And then someday you'd leave me for some. 